right, YouTube, today we are going to play some Creator Karn. It's based around, <clears throat> it's a Karn, it's a normal Tron list, or Tron deck. Oops, I have to, I don't have my entire deck in thing here. That's embarrassing. It's based around a normal Tron deck, except it plays Karn the Creator and some sideboard bullets, like Worm Coil Engine, Walking Ballista, um, and Lattice in order to make it so, um, to make it so they give you some flexibility, Witch Bane Arm, Tribbid Sphere, Oblivion Stone, and Snaring Bridge. Like, this Karn gives you a tool toolbox, and this is the best way to abuse the toolbox here, because this just shuts off your, this basically stone makes you, all of your opponents, um, all of your opponents' cards colorless, and then it stony silences them. So they basically can never tap mana for the rest of the game. So that's the big pull to this deck. It's a little bit more of a Tron deck with some more utility. For some, it's mono green. It's got a blast zone, which is another card from the new set. So it's pretty cool. I'm excited to give this a whirl tonight. So uh, let's give this a try. Be gentle on me as I don't play <coughs> too, too much. Um, you can hardly hear. I actually heard that that was an issue on the previous stream, so that should help out a little bit as I just put it up two decibels. So hopefully that's better. We're almost up to 50%. On or up to over thirty three percent on our on our goal. It's still super low. I just kicked it up two decibels, so I'm gonna wait for someone else to confirm that because I don't want to blast somebody's eardrums out in the YouTube video or in the channel. But because I did just adjust it up quite a bit, and I'll put it up like a little more. To minus all right that's another decibel <clears throat> so we'll give that a whirl but I'm excited to try this out <clears throat> I've been playing against this Karn in Legacy and it's definitely won some games I mean it caused me to change up what I've been playing in Stoneblade a little bit to <clears throat> to add some more uh, like back to basics cards to be able to fight the land hate a little more. Um, how how's my volume, Micah? I think I'm gonna play Bant after this. That deck was impressive. When I played it through a league today, I went four and one. And I just lost to the mirror. It's fine for me. Okay. You're on mobile. If there's anyone else in the chat that is not on mobile, that can just, you know, give me a little volume check, that would be great. Man, it is taking quite a little while for this to get set up. All I have to do is complain. <coughs> Okay. All right, I would like to play first. Yeah, so I'm going to keep this hand. We were, we're one Tron piece off of um, Tron. We can cantrip next turn into an Ancient Stirring, so it's a pretty good setup. It's a pretty solid hand. I like pulling aggressively with Tron, but I think that like this hand is just a like a really good seven. I don't think you can throw this back. So I'll just F8 through this. Alright, Verdant Catacombs is a good sign. So let's Yeah, so let's crack this for green. All right, we had a Sanctum, so let's just play our Stirrings. Okay, so there's Tron. 
power plant. No, it's not. So power plant, tower. We're looking for a mine. So I guess we'll just get a map. Any order, play tower, play map. Easy match, cats. How's the volume? I'm, I'm a mofo thief. I was having some worries about that my opponent just scooped. All right, both teams, both teams tried hard. <clears throat> so we're playing against a black green deck. So. Cards that are good against black green. I would assume we would want to fit this worm coil engine in here somewhere. I gotta be quiet. I'm messing with friends. Uh, okay. All right. Well, we'll maybe I'll give it a little more volume. The only person that's confirmed has said that it's a little low, so I'll give it another decibel. I would like one more of these. because it's so low. Hmm. That's odd. That is odd. I'm sorry about that. If there's anyone else that's having, because I want to figure out if it's me. Just want to make sure that it's, if the volume's not me. Um, so I don't really know how to sideboard here. I'm going to assume that this, like, this plan is a little bit worse against Jund or black green. Well, it might be better because it's easier to cast. Maybe we just don't need the Ulamogs because like they're gonna disrupt us. It's gonna be harder to get to 10 mana. Spear star map, relics. Relics are actually kind of medium against this deck. It just shrinks Tarmogoyf and that's it. I kind of just want to lower my curve a little bit. Take out the big cards here and keep these in. Though I'm no, I'm no professional. I think having one of these is good. I might want two because it kills Dark Confidant. Good cut of land. No, nah, they're going to Assassin's Trophy and Field of Ruin me. I think I'm going to shave a Worm Coil Engine. I don't think we're going to need that many. Because, like, the first one's going to be really good. And I don't want to get glutted up too much up here. And it's like, I want to be able to kill Bob. You know? There's, there could be... It's better now? Okay, that's good. There could also be um, an argument to... Uh, cutting down on, like, the 4-mana Karn. Because... You know, this deck is that that's a little more incremental advantage in mid-rangey, and this deck's like good at fighting a mid mid-range fight. <clears throat> so yeah, this oh let me move this here. Mess this up. So yeah, this deck here, I'm not usually a Tron player, but this deck here is to help benefit the Barrera brothers. So I think we want to keep anything here because like we're playing against a uh, black green deck. We just don't want a mulligan. This hand's got some redraws. We can like mitigate Tarmogoyf, which is important. Here's a discard spell. Probably takes my stirrings or my star. I'm going to play star next turn also. Take stirrings. That's that makes sense. Nice. Thoughtseize bug. Okay. I've been putting lemon back in my water. It's a solid improvement. The scariest thing they could play here would be Bob by far. Bob would be very scary. All right, scavenging is whatever. 
Sag for green. Always yield. Um, I'm going to do this first because I don't want to commit just to play this and crack it. I need to play another land. I don't want to do that. I'd like to be another Tron piece. Okay. Here's a power plant, which is another piece. Any order. Play power plant. Play star. Um, yeah, it should be good. I have no hiccups on my end. No Liliana here would be nice. Fulminary Mage would suck. Yeah. All right, hers is mine. Okay, so let's crack this and add green. <clears throat> I kind of just want to crack this relic right now also. But I guess I can wait and make my opponent commit mana to it. I don't want to do it into the face of Thoughtseize also. And it's not like taking as much damage as I'm taking is that bad. <clears throat> Hand's pretty good at defending what our opponent's doing here. I'm definitely going to crack this EOT because if I hit a worm coil engine, I can just play it. Oh, the moto, the moto ones? Yeah, they're pretty nice. <clears throat> Dark Confidant would be bad. Armor wave is whatever. I, I technically this grows ooze by one point here, but you know I would rather just do this now when my opponent has less mana. Okay, so there's no sense in. Um, there's no sense in cracking this now besides the fact that I could hit an egg. And I would want to play my egg because I'm going to play Karn next turn. So I guess I'll just crack this. But it might save me a couple points of damage. I'm going to wait. Yeah, sorry if I'm just talking this out a little bit. This is a little unnatural for me, so I'm... You know, I'm going to plod my way through this league. It's going to be nothing super special. I'm also probably going to crack this at the end of the turn. I might just play this card and minus it for like an ensnaring bridge. Because if I bridge my opponent, eventually I'll just like create such an advantage that you know they won't be able to deal with it. Though they might have like decays and such. Okay. That's a good hit for my opponent. So I'm just, just gonna crack this now. All right, one coil engine. 
King. Okay, so I think we just how many how much mana is this? This is ten mana. Three, six. That's ten mana. So let's. Non-creature artifact. I can go grab a Wormcrawl engine. I'm just gonna grab like. I'm just gonna put a, so many Wormcrawl engines in front of my opponent that they just don't know what to do. And I'm gonna wait until I have the time to grab this and play it in the same turn. Because like if I just go mono worm coil engines, I don't think it's gonna be enough for my opponent to get around it, unless they can like surgical me, and then I would feel kind of bad. But like next turn, I'll minus and I'll grab the whatever it is, the thinger, the one that uh, locks them out of the game. I just don't want. I didn't want to do that from when I was behind on board. <clears throat> Been feeling pretty good, but this is this is supposed to be a, sort of a lights out matchup, right? Like if our deck doesn't beat this deck, then like what are we doing? At least this is what I felt whenever I played against Tron with decks like what my opponent's playing. The old Tarmogoyf challenge is, is it's not a good way to go. And like even if our opponent holds up mana to like Assassin's Trophy, the the combo piece, then whatever. We'll just play another engine and Drag Tusk. Yeah, because this is what we want. Alright, full name mage is annoying. All right, I'm just gonna eat this scavenging ooze. I hope they tap out. They're not going to because of this, but. They might push their own ooze in order to kill this. I guess that kills this too. Which is like, whatever. I mean, you know, we still have this six, six in play. I don't even, I guess I should attack because then if they don't find a way to deal with this, they can't attack me back. Then my Karn dies, but whatever. This puts like the most pressure on my opponent. And also just buys me a million turns. I definitely blocked the wrong creature. Yeah, I was just gonna kill them. I could just go, I'm gonna go get Crucible Worlds. And Crucible Worlds let me pick up this land. Oh yeah. I know what's going on there, Randy. Or Andy. <laughs> Andy, my bad. I, I saw I saw LeClaire at the end and then Andy and it, it looked like Randy. This Frexian Arena is cute. Deal. I sacrifice this. Two. It's effectively the same thing, but I can go get Sanctum of Ugin.
Yeah, I'm just gonna go like this. Play my power plant. I'm one mana short of being able to do something really cool, but how's it going, Archmage? And then I'll just, I'm just gonna play this. I'm trying to think if I'm missing out. I wanna go get a blast zone, I think. So I'm just gonna wait on it. But I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna attack my opponent because if they don't block, then like blocking Blisto is gonna be live to just kill them. Because like, I can go get blast zone and if my opponent doesn't block, then I can just go get Sanctum of Ugin instead. Because like Sanctum of Ugin into, you know, whatever it is, is gonna be good at some point. So we're gonna get to the point where our opponent has to take, uh, and we can just actually, we can just recur Sanctum of Ugin. Oh, that's kind of sweet. How are you tonight, Archmage? I'm gonna ditch this Thrag Tusk because it's worse than Worm Coil Engine. Bored? What are you bored about? One more final. Yeah, I'm just not gonna block. Grim Flare. Okay. I think I'm going to get Sanctum of Ugin. Blast Zone is sweet, but Sanctum of Ugin is basically a... Uh, okay, so let me go... Play this. I've got 12, 7, 5, shoot this, attack my opponent, put them to 2. Actually, I can just... No, I can just kill my opponent. Go Karn minus on this, attack, shoot them. Yeah, that's the plan. So let's go like this. Tap this, trigger Sanctum. Yes, use Sanctum, go get uh, Walkie B. All right, sweet. So yeah, what we're gonna do is go get walking ballista, ballista for two, minus on this, attack, shoot them. And then we had him. All right, good start. Good start, the Tron, the Karn was sweet. The Karn got me like another unbeatable threat or it got me a way to protect my lands. I probably should have gotten the uh, Crucible of Worlds with my first get. That probably wouldn't have been better than getting a redundant Worm Coil Engine. But getting the second Crucible was nice. Fluffy Wolf 2. I don't recognize my opponent's motor name, but it's pretty cool. One, two. This is turn four, Tron. So I'm going to keep... With hands like this, I don't know if I'm supposed to go Forest, Ancient Stirrings. Oh god. Rattle Master on one. Okay. Map. Alright, so we got turn two we got turn three Tron. Oh Angus, okay. I just need to not die. All right. I might not make it. So we're just gonna go get what we're looking for and then hope to rip Worm Coil Engine. Cause this is gonna be five, six, seven, eight, 
10. So I have to just rip Worm Coil Engine at this point. I don't think there's any other out. Maybe I should have kept my hand. It was a lot of lands. But yeah, this is what we're going to do. We're going to rip Worm Coil like a professional. Got Karns everywhere. Yeah, Urza's mine, Urza's power plant. Scoop it up. Scoop it up. Okay. So I probably want Nature's Claims because we're going to get Blood Moon. Usually we want two things to be on the play and avoid a cleanup the board like Bliss that you know. Okay. I probably want access to my O stone as well. These are probably too slow. Um, I think just randomly having this in my deck is going to be good. Ugin's probably good. Karn might be a little too slow. Because like killing a single thing might not be important unless it's Blood Moon. Maybe I want one. Probably don't need these relics actually. Even though they're a redraw. Probably can board in one more of these because I might have to clean up a board. Maybe I can just bring back in two more cards. Then go like this. Yeah, I think this is what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do, Philly boy. Ding, 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 ding. I don't think this is I, this matchup doesn't seem that great. Ability to like lock us out of the game with like Blood Moon or even Chalice on one is probably pretty good against Tron. Okay, so we have Worm Coil Engine, which is solid, but. We don't have a guaranteed turn three Tron. My gut tells me to mulligan this. I get two looks at another, at, I get basically get two looks at Tron because this is a redraw. This isn't gonna really save me very much. I think I'm gonna mulligan. Gross. So I get two looks at a land, and if I hit, I have a big ballista that'll clean up the board. I think this is better than a random five. And we have this in case we get Blood Moon. I think I actually have to keep that on top. That's okay. I mean, we're going to be a little slow out of the gate, but... We're going to get there. Now we can beat a Blood Moon. Legion War Boss is okay. So we yield until next end step. Go get a Tron piece. Urza's power plant. And I think I'm just going to play this, play another one of these and pass. Then I can play a Ballista for four next turn, which will be pretty solid. 
or play this worm coil engine and play ballista for two either is pretty good i'll probably play the worm coil engine and ballista for two just because you know worm coil engine is likely super super good against our opponent That's okay. So we'll just go to the end step. Still get this. We need a, we have pot, we need mine. Then we just blow this up. And I'm just gonna play worm coil engine, considering we can play a ballista for three million next turn. Or like even if we get Blood Moon again, we can play a we can like Ancient Stirrings and play a Ballista for two, which is still pretty good on this board. And we're gonna be able to we're gonna be able to gain life because the one of the goblins has to attack. So I'm feeling decent about the position. What are they gonna go get? Dark Steel Citadel, they're just making a land drop. I don't know what that means for me, but I'm just going, oh, I can't kill the Karn with the Ballista. The Karn's cool. I can't kill Karn with Ballista. So I'm actually just gonna look for like another payoff like this. any order and now my Karn is going to eat your Karn and I'm just gonna play so my opponent makes a token we block it if they attack with everything we block this, block this with the Ballista, shoot another one, and then Karn takes just two points and goes to one, and we still have this round. So I, th I think I just want to keep my Karn around, and if my opponent doesn't like get super aggressive with... um. And if my opponent doesn't attack, then we can just start to pump this Ballista for a million. The Karn, was, the, the Karn was sweet against Black Green, but like we were playing against Black Green. So like, you know, take that as you want. So my opponent can kill the Karn, but they have to trade basically almost their entire board. And they don't even kill Karn. Karn's still in play, actually. So they need to, like, kill Walking Ballista to kill Karn, and then they have to trade their Legion War Boss also, which will leave them with two 2-2 two, two tokens against Worm Coil Engine in 15 mana. I think we're in a good spot. I feel good about life. I feel good about where we are. While my opponent takes time to think about it, I'm gonna say this deck is brought to you by a donation that's going towards the Barrero Wrestling. Will Sean's in my deck. Card Hoarder did. Good old Card Hoarder. I got him from Card Hoarder. They're the best bot chain on Magic Online. If you need Card Hoarder, if you need Magic Online products, you should check out Card Hoarder. Um, this deck is a donation to go to the Barreros, which is what this tab is above my head. So if you'd like to make a donation to the Barreros, please feel free to donate uh, to them. A $10 donation to them or myself is going to lead to a uh, me playing your deck on stream. So playing anything, 
pretty, you know, don't really worry about what I got to play. Let me get some water while my opponent's thinking. I didn't turn that off there. That was probably rip the ears. Oh boy. Okay. All right, we're gonna let that go. That that's that's a little bad for us. Artifact in addition to its types. So the ballista. Oh wow. This just seems really bad for my opponent because I'm just going to like get rid of their Karn. Oh no, I'm not. Oh, that's cute. Okay. That is very cute. So now I can go get play this Karn and then go get my Lattice thing and then just lock my opponent out of the game. Right, that's our plan. Let's look at our sideboard here. Yeah, it's probably just right to go get this, and they can't tap lands for the rest of the game, and I can just attack with my uh, Worm Coil Engine. So then, is it correct for me to go play this Karn and get Sorcerer's Spyglass naming this? But then they probably have like a spyglass and they can name my Karn. I could go get an O Stone. I think I'm gonna go get a. Mm. Well, it's all about like. I guess that I'm a, if I'm ahead on board, my opponent's never adding anything more to the board, so that my worm coil engines, my worm coil engine is going to eventually win me the game because my opponent can't add to the board, right? Yeah, so the game's just over because none of us add like I I I win on board. Yeah, so I'm just gonna attack my opponent. And this just wins because I'm ahead on board. Yes, get this. Oh, I guess he does net a no, the token has to attack. So he doesn't get any more, but I get, oh, I guess you're right. So maybe I actually will eventually lose. The token doesn't have to attack anymore. Oh, you, you might be right. Ooh, I might have, I might have messed up. Yeah, I think I definitely messed up. 
But I should have probably gone and got Sorcerer's Spyglass for this. Because now my opponent, now I can't, my opponent can't use their thing. Yeah, I definitely messed up there. But. But yeah, I think I messed, I think I tossed it, right? Well, my opponent can't do anything either, right? How many cards does my opponent have? All deck first too, which sucks. I think I locked myself out of the game. Right? Doesn't that? Oh, no, because now I've locked my... But doesn't... Isn't this how that works? Wait. It's because I don't have... Because I'm not making their things artifacts. Yeah, ouch. Oh, baby. We messed this up. All right. We're going we're gonna to shame concede. We're going to shame concede here. Shame, shame, concede. All right. My opponent sent a heart. <laughs> okay. So I wonder what I was supposed to do there. I was probably supposed to go get like Sorcerer's Spyglass, right? Because I go get Spyglass and I name... Well, all the worms were in my deck, right? I don't remember if I boarded them all in. Okay, so I should leave one worm coil out. We're learning. We are learning as we go here. Well, now you can tutor in it. Now you can tutor in it. It's hard. I'm trying to think of how I should have done that. I probably should have just gotten... But Oblivion Stone doesn't do anything. Basically, my Karn didn't do anything because of their Karn. So I just should have done whatever is possible to keep my Karn in play. Right? That would have been the best thing to do. Yeah. Okay. We learn something new every day, chat. Mistakes were made. That's okay. It's a, that's okay. If you would like to see more memes, watch me mess up and burn my tickets, you can go check out the Barrero Brothers Facebook wrestling page. Donate money to them. $10 and you can watch me bumble through a league of any deck you want. <laughs> Where you can watch me lock myself out if you'd like. Only if that's what you're looking for. If you want to watch me beat myself for $10, you can do that. <clears throat> okay. It's okay. Everything's okay. I also wanted to keep the Yellowstone in the deck while boarding in, so it's going to be nice. Okay. So this is one, two. It's the old. Oh, gross. So we're on the draw. If I draw any Tron piece, this hand's pretty nuts. I have one, two, three looks at a Tron piece. I'm going to keep this hand. I put a mulligan, so maybe I should have mulligan, but I have three looks at a Tron piece to just give me Tron on three. Ooh. 
That's a real. That's a pretty solid draw. So let's play this. Okay, opponent cracks me for three. So this is like turn four Tron is also good in this with this hand. Nice. Oh, they're gonna sack this to counter this, probably. Oh wow, they let that go. That they must have just made a mistake there and not known. So next turn, I'm just going to play Karn and go up. Depending on what they do. Let me think. I guess the safest thing for me to do is just to t hit a... Uh, to hit a Phantom. Nature's claim they're mad. Yeah, I think I should just hit this because this makes this a two. This makes this one, which means only sevens coming at me. I could just start hitting lands, but that also sounds pretty aggressive. If I go up, this is two, four, seven. I could die to like a, a lord. So I'm just gonna play this, play Karn, and I'm just gonna whack one of these supreme phantoms. Then if my opponent wants to take a turn off to attack my Karn, they can. All right, looks like we have a Spell Queller incoming. That's pretty good against Spell Queller. I don't know yet. I haven't gotten that far. All right, I'm just gonna play, I should have played the Sanctum of Ugin first. That was stupid. Cause I could have cracked Ugin and then got Ulamog. Yeah, made a mistake there. If we could have Ulamog then this turn. Yeah, I punted. That was not good. It doesn't appear like it's going to matter, but I did make, I did just punch. Savagely. There's nothing spicy I can do with this Karn. Um, I could just go get a big old walking blister. But I still feel like my opponent has a spell queller, so I'm just gonna run this out here. Get this spell queller if they have it. Yep. Play this. I'll draw a card. Play Karn. Minus go get Walking Blista. Get Walkie B. Funny thing is that we can actually Ballista for enough to go get Ballista for enough to go get uh, Ugin because of the Sanctum. So even though mistakes were made, we're going to be okay. We're going to be all right. OK, 
Okay. Oh, captain, my captain. Excuse me. Six damage kills not me or this Karn. I will start. How's it going, Dean? What can I get for the, from my graveyard? I can get another worm coil engine, which is great, but I just won't don't need to do that now. Oh, because the CMC. So maybe I shouldn't do that. If I play mine, this is six, six, ten, twelve, two. Yeah, I can just wipe my opponent's board. So yeah, whatever. We're just we're gonna Omaha off of our plan here. Took me a second, but then I, fig I figured it out. I figured it out. Okay, so against, we want Nature's Claim in. Um, Karn does not seem that great. This Karn does not seem that great. Karn Liberated also seems a little weak against such a go wide deck. Um. Another Ballista sounds good, but I don't know if I should leave it in the sideboard. Yeah. I don't know if I should leave it in the sideboard to go find it. This is like my problem. We don't need relics in our deck after sideboard. See, I keep thinking that I just want like all of my one ofs that, I, that are sweet in my deck, and I just think like this Karn's not great in this matchup. And like, I think that like this Karn is probably just better than these Karns. And having like my bombs in my deck is just better. Like, is, is that wild? Yeah, if it's a path deck, then Karn is good. You're right about that. What do I want to cut? Probably some three mana, some of these cards. Like this card's not great. Yeah, but like Karn Spell Queller, a whole like. I don't know. I feel like I don't have time to be mid range. I need to just like keep a hand that puts a fatty in play. You know, like, I don't know. I feel like this card is just not that good. Because, like, do I have time to be mid rangey against this deck? I don't think so. And I think this card's really good in fast match and slow grindy matchups. But, like, we're not playing a slow grindy matchup. Is a removal spell, is Thrag Tusk better than a removal spell? Is the five life and then to not impact the board matter? Well, not Karn, Ugin, Ballista, Worm Coil Engine, right? I'm not going to board the Thrag Tusk in because I think the 5 life is, on average, like worse than a removal spell to break up their synergies. And, like, maybe I'm wrong. Like, I'll ask Andy later. I don't know. You're boarding in Bridge, is what I mean. Sure. Yeah, but like, yeah, no, I, I agree with that. So we don't have a way to clean up the board, and we don't have other than one coil to get fly over it. Okay. Is the repeated life better? I'm going to mulligan this hand. One, two, nature's claim. We're going to mulligan this hand. All right, we're going to keep... 
We'll put that on top because that makes green mana and is a cantrip. So I feel like we definitely have a stony silence incoming and there's not anything that I can do about it. Don't stony silence me, bro. Don't do it. Okay, sweet. Okay, so let's add green. Nice. I see why people play this deck. Um, Urza's Tower. So we have Mine, Tower, I want Power Plant. Oh, it takes too long, okay. All right. I feel like Thrag Tusk isn't doing anything for you because the three, like the three, the three points doesn't matter. You're drawing like a real Tron player. Yeah, I mean, that was nice. Okay, so we could get hit by like Disdainful Stroke, which would suck, but like, that's a nice hit too. But I'm gonna play this this turn. Disdainful Stroke, okay. Okay. All right, do you have another disdainful stroke? So this can hit like if they board in like negate. I don't know. I'm gonna play this because it's just a much better. Um. God damn it. Okay. Because like it doesn't get hit by as many things. And in my opponent's upkeep, I'm going to shoot this. I'm gonna to try to deal with this board a little bit in my opponent's upkeep. Remove, shoot this. Shoot that. Okay. I think I just want this thing dead. I'm just gonna get rid of it. Because now my opponent's gonna tap out. I can play Karn and I can uh, exile this Rattle Chains. Because my opponent only has a blue mana up. I could exile the land. I could have exiled the, the Mutal Vault, which might have been the play. Honestly, the Mutal Vault might have. Hitting the Mutal Vault might have been. What we should have done there. Kind of just want to go now. I just want to go like minus, minus. Cut them off. I'm more concerned about what's going on in the game right now. The three three is irrelevant in my opinion. Like you're not neither one of them. Like the Wormcoil Engine is a better upside. I don't think the five life is gonna matter, right? It's not like I'm raising this deck. I think I'm gonna go hit this, hit this. Hit this. Hit 
And then I'm just going to hit the Muta Vault. Like, like if, if they play two one-drop spirits, they can kill Karn, but whatever. And if I hit the Muta Vault, it just slows them down. Like, they just can't cast spells. I think, I think just the consistency of potentially being able to actually win a race with Worm Coil Engine is better than the 3-3. Okay, my opponent scoops it out. All right. So what are we going to draw? We were going to draw Worm Coil Engine. Nice. Yeah, I think the fact that... Because, like, both of them are pretty useless with Path. I think that 5 life is... The guaranteed 5 life is, on average, worse than the... Um is on average worse than the consistent attacking and not attacking of Worm Coil Engine. Because like that actually can win a race. I don't think Five Life is gonna win a race against this deck. So I, I think that Worm Coil Engine is better, especially considering it can be hard to get a green source until you already get pathed, you know? Yeah, Supreme Phantom would've worked, Tim. How are you tonight, Tim? How are you doing, Mr. Schultz? All right, would you like to play first? Yes. Magaish Mulligan. I will keep this hand. I'll put this on the bottom. It would be nice to hit a uh, scout, but I think we just want to try to find Karns. How's it going, Tannen? We are troning tonight. It's very dark. It's like darker than it. Feels like it's darker than it's usually than it usually is. Botanical Sanctum, go. Okay. All right. Let's see if we're professional. We're not. Should I Sylvan Scrying or should I Stirrings? The problem is, like, I almost feel like I have to Sylvan Scry, like, Stirrings for a green source. Good. I'm just gonna Stirrings, get a tower. Any order, play tower, play relic. Yeah, I thought I could stir because I could do this as well. Yavamaya Coast. Yeah, we're almost 40% of the way to our Barrero Brothers donation list, so. You guys are looking to oh he's playing the neoform deck so if you're looking to donate to a good cause the barrero brothers are canadian wrestlers that are on the olympic team they're just or one of them's on the olympic team the other one's trying to get on megan green was okay um smelling elf ryan dino yes and uh if you would like to donate in order to get them to You think you're just gonna like march up to whatever we're trying to do here? All right, I think we just start with, huh? This is how you play Tron, isn't it? I don't even think I'm gonna show him because it doesn't actually do anything. Showing him that I can Tron because I can't do anything. So I'm just not even going to. Dude, I've drawn like a Tron player tonight. Okay, so now we play mine. And we get, we get stoned. 
We get we get one coil engined. This is how it feels to be you, yeah. <laughs> should play Sanctum. I should have Eldritch Evolution for Deadshot Minotaur. What does this do for me? This this gets me like a blast zone. It also gets me a green source. So yeah, this is gonna be our land for the turn. Play into mine, because not all from matters. This thing is better in case we top deck Karn or something. Okay. Again, I don't really know, so I might be making mistakes, but I'm gonna go get a green source with this. I am drawing pretty well. I don't really know what Edgar is doing. Okay, so I can get Karn, the great creator, or I can get Ulamog into Ulamog. And I think Ulamog into Ulamog is better than Karn into the lockout of the game. But if I get Karn, I can just lock him out of the game next turn. Right? Like, he can't do anything. So I guess... Yeah, we ripped good. I think I should get this Karn and then just, like, threaten to lock him out of the game. What can I get on my sideboard? Hang on. I can get Spyglass and name Gristlebrand. Right? Because isn't that how he goes off? One, two. Where's my Spyglass? There it is. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Spyglass. Yes. Name. Sorcerer Spyglass. Pay spy, play Spyglass. And where's my... Okay, so he's got Gristlebrand. Okay. Gristle... Gristlebrand. Okay. And now I don't even think I'm going to attack. Because if I don't attack, I can just go get the lockout piece next turn with this Karn. And then I can just, like, end the game. Whew. Oh, gosh. All right, Edgar scooped it up. All right, should be good in a second. OBS crashed. Okay, so I have no idea how to sideboard against his deck. Um. Witchbane Orb is probably... No, but I want to be able to find Witchbane Orb. Um, I don't know. I think I just like... Maybe I just sideboard these in. I won that one. OBS just crashed for a second. 
Like, maybe I should just hedge and bring these in. Is he, he's not a Relic of Progenitus deck. Like, the Neoform deck doesn't use the Graveyard, so I'm just going to hedge and bring these in and cut these, I guess. I don't know if there's any reason for that, but that's just what we're going to do. Yeah, we did win. OBS crashed for a hot second. Um, okay, so we have a Stirring, so we basically have turn three Tron. And I think I'm going to keep this. Hopefully Ulamog is enough. I don't think our deck actually Chancellor of the Tangle, okay? I don't think our deck actually beats his Nut Draw. All right. Both, both teams played hard. This is actually the first time I've seen this deck get played. So, I kind of want to see. I just want to play it out. Like I, I literally don't think I have a draw. He's just going to like 8-8. Eight, eight, unless I draw like exactly Tron piece and exactly Karn. I think I'm dead. But I, I do just kind of want to see what's going on. All right, well, there's Tron piece. What does Oblivion Stone say? Oblivion Stone. No, I don't care about this. Or in scenario, creatures with power greater than the cards that number of your hand can't attack. Oh, so I can just make it so this thing can't attack me. I sold him the deck, so he's practicing. It's okay. I think that I actually can beat this. Because I just take Karn, any order, play this, pass the turn. He cracks me again. And then I just play the new Karn minus it, go get ensnaring bridge. Yeah, Andy's really smart. Andy's a really good magic player. Oh, I forgot to play Star. Yeah, I just totally forgot to play Star. Just zoned out there. I was worried about like how my line of play to win was. Okay, draw seven cards. Yeah, he's going off now. I can just F6. <clears throat> can I chuck lands at him? Alright. I guess I F6. But he had he had more nourishing shells likely. His entire deck. Alright, we're gonna hit submit. And then hope that he doesn't be this. Yeah, and he can, like, gain life and nourishing... I guess he can't nourishing shoal with all that on the stack. Uh, this is the first time I've actually played against this deck. I think this hand's a mulligan. Yeah, I'm going to mulligan this hand. This just doesn't do enough. Mine, mine. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this. If we have a, another Tron piece on top, we can play this on three. I'm gonna put this on the bottom. I'm just gonna hope we rip another Tron land. Because if we do that, I'm in good shape. All right. Like 
you should bring in the hate list event because what do you need to create this and then we die too fast? Okay. I wonder if I'm supposed to go get a forest. Or if I should just knock the top of my deck and hope. Maybe I just won't even crack this and I'll wait. Because it's not like I can get Tron anyways, and I might draw a land that informs what I should do. So yeah, I think I'm actually just gonna wait on this. I'm not even gonna crack it. Uh oh. Row row. No no. Yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna I think it's actually correct to not crack the map. Alright. Neo form. Then you probably would mulligan again. Well, this is unfortunate. All right, I don't think I'm going to sit through this. I think I'm good. We're going to get more. We're going to get more games in. So I want to stream another deck after this. Bridge and over for the toolbox. Okay. I don't know what is going on with. Zero KBS. Yeah, I'm sorry about this. It's just OBS keeps disconnecting and reconnecting, having its problems, but we're back. Freaking OBS. Okay, so the next deck we're going to play after this. Let me check out the, the Twitter poll that I made. Because I can either play Stoneblade, Rugged Elver, or the Bant Flash deck from the, that the team um, Nova played this weekend. And I kind of really want to play that Bant Flash deck. Let me see how, that, how the poll ended up. Yeah, it was the Band Flash deck one out. So that is what we are going to play. And that Mofo is even Mofo. It's Tron Motto. Like, we can, we can toss this one back. And we can toss this one back. This is basically already a mulligan. I don't think we need two payoffs. Yeah, I'm gonna toss this one back. All right, we're gonna keep this. Put that on top. Okay. Opponent fetches basic forest on my end step. Okay. All right, so playing escape shift. Oh, 
always yield. We're gonna get a green and we're going to Ancient Stirrings off of this. I'm just gonna get map. Any order. So I can go get, um, I can go get, uh, I can't get tower then, I can't play Oblivion Stone because of how, um, yeah, I can't do it because I, I already have the tower in play. Okay, I don't really know what my opponent's doing here. I don't know what my decks do. Like, do they have... Because I think that they almost have like... like they might have land destruction in their deck. So I kind of just want to play the forest and pass. And then make Tron next turn. Play the creator. And then go get like... I don't know. I don't know what their deck is. Like do I get Witchbane Orb? Like are, are they a scape shift deck? I don't know. There could be a land destruction deck. I'm not even going to do anything with my Tron piece this turn, so I'm just going to play this land, pass, see what my opponent does. That will inform what land I get, and then I can do something with Karn if need be. Because if there's just some weird red-green beat deck, we could just go get, like... A worm coil engine also. All right. Well, now I'm just gonna go get Tron. Power plant tower mine. All right. Well, that makes things a little easier. So I can actually Sylvan scrying to set up the Ulamog next turn. while playing the worm coil engine. So let's just get another tower and then play the worm dad. And then we Ulamog a bunch of lands. That's pretty much how we do it. Both teams tried hard. Can even play the relic. Just get rid of two lands. I can deal with this, doesn't matter. Okay. Play this. Relic my opponent. We can get that sweet F6 value. And then we can go get like the stupid, whatever it is, the um, one that makes it so my opponent can't tap their lands. As if whatever's on board wasn't enough. Okay. So my opponent's some weird red green mid range deck. Probably don't need the relics. Which main orb's probably good. Against this deck? Just because like they're just a bunch of lightning bolts. Yeah, lattice is what I was gonna grab. The old You crazy kids board out ghost quarters. I probably want to bring in my claims and my thrag tusks. The walking blister seems kind of medium. 
and I can just find that if I need it. Yeah, like, remember that in my comments? Yeah, okay. I guess I can board this out. We're not gonna need two of these probably. We saw that ghost court a lot, okay. All right, submit deck. I'm gonna just side run out the little mod in case we do get blood moons. Okay, so we've got a Thrag Tusk. We have a Nature's Claim and an Ancient Stirrings and plays the Blue Screen Man. I think I'm gonna keep this hand. It's a little slow, but like, Thrag Tusk is great. We might be able to like, you know, maneuver here a little bit. I kinda wanna keep this hand, but it might just be like a worse, like I can probably just find six cards that make Tron and then kill my opponent. Yeah, I'll keep this. If we get an egg, like an egg is a turn is turn three worm coil. So I'll put this on the bottom. I want to draw one of my eight eggs or a map. Ding. This deck is great. Go get mine. Yeah, dude, you send your lightning bolts at my face. I'm just gonna probably just Karn my opponent and like, I might play Worm Coil Engine so that I can Karn with Sanctum of Ugin the turn after. Blood Break Elf, Integral Spellbreaker. Yeah, I kind of like playing Worm Coil Engine more now because it just shores up the board. Because like my Karn just dies. I can play like I can play an egg too. You know, which everyone likes likes playing eggs. Oh, I guess I could have filtered there, right? That was loose. I could have filtered my, yeah. I made a mistake because it costs one mana to do and then it's mana neutral to crack it. So yeah, I should, I guess it's mana neutral next turn too. So it doesn't really matter. Eggs are great. I like eggs any way I can get them. Okay. So... Let me just check my sideboard again. I can play Karn, get Witch Boy and Orb, or I can just play this Sanctum Vugan. I can, well, let's just start off by cracking this egg before we do anything. Tusk. Yes. I'm just going to go get Ulamog. Go up on my opponent. Play a map. I guess I'll just play Sphere. Because I don't want my map to get killed. I'm just going to sit behind this here. My opponent does have Primeval Titan in their deck. I guess I should have attacked to gain life. That was stupid. My opponent has Primeval Titan in their deck, so I should like actually start to get a move on a little bit. Okay, so because we knew they were a scape shift deck, not just some red green mid range deck, I would have then, if I'd have drawn a land, I would have played my, um, I would 
have played my Karn and then gone and got Witchbane Orb. This deck was sweet. Like, this this gives this deck a whole lot. Yeah, I've gone down with my Karn. Gone down with Karn, played new Karn, gone and got Witchbane Orb, and played Witchbane Orb. This deck is sweet. This card's cool. I'm a, I'm a fan of what's going on here. But...